Yes, good morning, my dear students. The next topic we are going to discuss is called multiple document interface. Okay, multiple document interface in VC++. We have already studied MDI forms in VB. So, similarly, in VC++ also we have MDI forms. So, what was an MDI form in uh, say VB? What did we do there? We created one form called the MDI parent form. Okay, so all the child forms of that particular MDI parent will all be created and it will only stay inside your parent form. It cannot come out of the parent form. You can work with more than one form, but all these forms will be inside the parent form window only. So that is the MDI concept we saw. We also did a lab program in that. So just keep that in mind. So this is going to be very, very similar only that the concept is in VC++. Right. So multiple document interface MDI in VC++. Right. So here also it is the same thing. The multiple document interface is a design specification of windows. So all whatever we are creating in this visual studio are all going to be like say applications for the windows environment, windows operating system. So the design specification is for your windows. Right. That defines an user interface which will create an user interface for your application. So when I am creating my application, my application will have a user interface which means it will have forms, buttons, right, combo boxes, radio buttons and so on. So it is going to have all these things which is all going to be specifications of your windows operating system. So when you are creating such components, so what you can do is you can create more than one document at the same time. So what you can do? You can use more than one document at the same time. So how can we do that is you can keep the other document minimized. Okay, You can be have a normal window, one document you can view and do some manipulations with that window wherein the other document or other window will be minimized. Okay, So this is the multiple document interface, more than one document can remain active. right? So MDI applications allows multiple document frame windows. So I told you. What is the class? We studied the MFC classes in the previous the class we discussed about what do you mean by MFCs. In MFCs, we said the main uh, class, base class is going to be C win app, right? So under which we will have the Windows class. So Windows will have the frame class, frame window. Under the frame window, you have the MDI frames or you also have the normal frame window, which is known as otherwise known as SDI frames, right? So MDI applications allows multiple document frame windows to be created. You can create multiple frame windows. right? So the same concept as that of VB. So here also a parent window will be created. Okay, There can be only one parent window and you can create multiple child windows inside it. There can be only one parent window and you can create multiple child windows inside that particular parent window. So all these windows are all of class. What class they belong to? They belong to the frame class, when frame class is the class they all belong to, right. So documents here, so their documents in MDI in VB, we only said you can MDI forms means you can create more than one form, okay. Here, <coughs> here the document does not have to be one type, it can be many types. So there are many different types of documents which you can create in MDI. Here the multiple documents can be of various types, it does not have to be one frame window alone. Right? Okay, so this is the MDI in VC++. Next, so every topic whatever we study in VC++, we are also seeing what are the classes associated with it. So though we are not using it for programming, so not that much programming is there, but still we all wanted to always remember the class associated with the concept which we are studying. Similarly, here it is this one gives you the broad perspective. See. Here you will know what is the base class, okay, from where a frame window is created. So we have already seen all this, but still, okay, to create a multiple document interface, what are the classes you will be using? First is going to be the win app class, okay, the win app class is going to be the base class, okay. Then you have an C frame win class. So we saw that C frame win class, the C frame WND class was used for creating SDA forms, single document interface forms. But here we are talking about MDI forms. So we are going to study something called as C what MDI frame window class. So we have something called as C. C here stands for classes C MDI frame window class. Right. That is a class used to create an MDI form. Right. That is the parent window or otherwise I can call that as the parent form or the parent frame or the parent window. Right. 
so inside the parent forms you can have any number of child forms you can have any number of child forms how do i create an mdi child i'll be using a class called cmdi child window class so cmdi child wmd class yes so this is the three main classes used to create an mdi parent and an mdi child class so child and parent is created now what will be the contents of these frame what will be there inside a frame so you can have any number of documents inside a frame so just remember frames here can have any different types of documents the document could be of any type so you can have different types of document inside your frame window that is one thing again there is a connection between the document and the view these documents or the data which is present in these documents can be viewed in various ways right so don't confuse you so i'll just give you one example you just remember that and relate to it so you will have some clarity on that topic see what do you mean by a document class let us say i have the marks so i say let us say i am going to have a uh, i have stored all your register numbers okay and i have stored all your subject marks right so that is nothing but your document so i have created a document which has your register numbers and your all the subject marks right but i wanted to know how many people have passed in vb how many people have not passed in vb how many people have passed in unix how many people are not passed in unix same for all the subjects right so what is that what i have with me is a document from the document i am trying to create a view right view can be say for example i am going to have a graph let us say a bar chart i am going to have a bar chart it is going to tell me how many passed and failed in vb how many passed and failed in unix okay how many passed and failed in or and we are going to come to a conclusion of what is going to be the result right so this could be a view so document and view are interconnected the data will be present in the document and you are creating a view using the view class so this is just one example like this you can do various documents can be created and various views also can be created so this is going to be a document class this is going to be a view class both will be present inside the frame windows right so how how what is the relationship between these documents okay is so what we are going to see what are the difference between what are the different views you can create in a document view class so what are the various views okay just see you can have one particular class which means you are, you are going to derive a class okay for a separate document so same i'm going to have one class i'm going to create a document right so i'm going to create another document again i'm going to use the same class so whatever class i have created the same frame window i'm going to use for two different documents is it allowed yes right so using the same class can i have two different uh, uh, document frame windows yes you can have right in the same window can i have the only one class there is only one class and there is only one window so it is like one is to one it is like mapping one is to one same one class one window same class same window i am going to place it. yes different classes in the same window that also is possible so i have only one frame window but i am going to create various classes which is going to use various documents or views right is it possible yes so what is all possible in same class one class you can create and you can use it for separate documents same class for same document same window or different classes for the same window all these types of views are possible okay this document and views you will understand once we study the next topic which is document view architecture so you will be able to have much more clarity on that now that you should remember these are the classes you need to create an mdi what frame in pc++ right now we are going to see the differences between mdi and sdi usually it is a two mark question but you can write it on your own words whatever points we have seen you are just going to list it but we are going to have a comparison here right so first and foremost thing about sdi i will only have one frame or let's just say only one window will be there yes so if i have to open another window in sdi in single document interface there will only be one window if i want to open another window what should i do i should close the current window only then i will be allowed to open a new window whereas in mdi i can open more than two i can have any number of documents open okay i can minimize one and work with the other which is allowed right that is the first point second point is it does not support various types of documents i told you 
that there are different types of documents available. So, but SDI does not support various types of documents, but MDI supports all the types of documents, right. The third point is SDI applications generally feature one menu. So, we have created menus in MDI if you remember. So, if you are going to use only STI forms, there can be only one form okay, or one window in VC++ case and you can only have menus in that particular form only because we are not going to have more than one form, right. It is not going to be an MDI form. If I have to open another form, I have to close the existing, right. So, that is how we are going to do in STI, right. But whereas in MDI, what can do, what can I do? I can have menus in two different forms. One will be the MDI parent, other one will be the MDI child. In both these forms, I can have what? The menus created. I can create menus in both these things. Right. The next point is, SD applications uses just one frame window. Right. Same concept here. There we spoke about a menu. Here we are saying how many frame windows does it open? It opens only one frame window. Right. That window will be the top frame window. And then that window only what you can have? You can have views and documents, documents or views you can have whatever it is, but there is only one frame window. But in MDI, there is a top level frame window, that window is called as the MDI parent window and there is also a child frame, okay. So, that also is going to be the next level and you can have many number of childs and you can have any number of views and documents in all the child windows, understand. These are the concepts of MDI and SDI in VC++, yes. Yeah.